Cause we finna make this show money, sis, and that's on period. And I'm looking, I'm like a cock gun if you want your person. Oh, baby, you be lying in person. I be here and say you bad in person. I can't even lie, you ain't my type, you ain't even know that fine in person. I can guarantee you if you my cash, you got every bag, you can imagine. Big house, I can really be bragging. Hundred thousand in my mouth, I was had, and not a big cheap cheat, that's embarrassing. Yeah, me, you can keep the comparison. My bitch, probably one of the baddest. Good girl, turning into a savage. This bitch got a problem in traffic. We can't go and match and cheat, right? No key. I mean, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel, period. Hey, y'all. So, today's video. I'm doing a how to start a lip gloss business or any business that you want to do. Lash business, cosmetic line, clothing business, any of that good stuff that you want to do. I'm making a full in-depth detail of everything. I'm trying to cover everything because every entrepreneur video, I get so many questions and I'll be wanting to respond. But it's like, why do that when I could just make a specific video for all y'all questions and try to cover as much as I possibly can into one video. So that's what we're doing today because I need to cover up all this so I can just refer y'all to this video. A lot that comes with being an entrepreneur or starting a business. If you're not subscribed, make sure y'all subscribe because we're almost to 5,000 subscribers and I can't wait because when we hit 5,000 subscribers, I am doing a giveaway, so stay tuned. Also y'all, a lot of y'all keep asking me when am I going to launch when am I going to restock I'm in the process of rebranding so the website y'all see that is currently up is my old website you can still order from there but literally everything is pretty much out of stock and it is what it is what's there you can get it but I'm in the process of rebranding I'm go I'm going to be showing y'all like um, an inventory haul but I will be relaunching June 5th Everything is going to be completely different. Nothing is going to be the same. The name is going to be different. The logos, everything, y'all. So I've been trying to keep y'all updated, but I'm just putting it out there that I am still rebranding and stuff is still changing. And what y'all see on the website is what y'all see on the website, basically, pretty much. But you can still order, okay? So without making this video too long, let's get into this video. So I actually got my uh, notebook and stuff like that, wrote all my little um, notes and stuff so I can, you know, be able to tell y'all what I got to tell y'all because I, <laughs> baby, I am very a uh, forgetful person. I will sit here and tell y'all the whole entire world in out of order. I, I get off sidetrack. I get sidetracked a lot. So I need some um, some guidance and some organization into my life. So I'm, I'm going to put timestamps in the description box because certain things are i'm going to be addressing certain things so as by the title y'all know that i'm going to be talking about what you need and stuff like that for a lip gloss business that will be the last part of this video so i'm right now i'm going to talk about plans vendors promotion and what you need to start a lip gloss business so i will be putting those four timestamps in my description box so you can go to exactly what you want to know about starting a business okay before you even start a business you need a plan so i can't stress this enough a lot of people get on you not youtube a lot of people get on the whole bandwagon of being an entrepreneur and entrepreneur and they forget that like you gotta have a plan this stuff is not oh i'm gonna just buy this i'm gonna just buy that and sell it no you need a plan you need to know what you want to sell you need to know how much you're gonna charge you're gonna need to know if you're gonna have a website or you're gonna sell stuff offhand you need to know if how much you're going to sell your products for so you can make an investment. And you also need to know who's your audience. You need to know who are you targeting to. So when you have a product or whatever products you're selling, you need to know how much you're selling it for. Some people like to be reasonable, which I am a reasonable person, but don't be too reasonable, okay? I will say do not try to um, short yourself on money because People like to say that a lot of stuff is expensive, and no, some people are just cheap. Do not let people criticism make you feel like that you are overcharging, and really you're not. It's just people like to get down and get over on people. Feel the need to charge whatever you need, you think you need to charge because you have to make an investment. And a lot of people, when they look at you know, you know, starting entrepreneurs, they feel like everything has to be cheap because they're starting no sis oh i gotta make my coin too you feel me and people what people fail to realize is when you buy from your vendors or when you buy a product that's your money that you're spending right but you also got to make profit so you need to know what your profit is going to be and 
how much you're making okay i think i worded that wrong in the beginning i think i said investment you need to know your you need to invest and you need to know how much you're profiting because investments aren't cheap either so all this plays and ties of your plan you need to get a notebook this is my notebook right here you need to get a notebook specifically for your business and you need to really plan out your site you cannot just jump the gun trying to start a, a business and don't even have a plan i planned my my business for months it literally took me probably like five six months maybe even longer than that before i started my business because i wanted everything to be good like i am a thinker i love to think on do ideas and be creative and stuff like that okay y'all so once you got your plan and you got everything written down about how much you're gonna charge what you want to sell how much you're investing and your profit you want to fast forward to a vendor this is my biggest question on my entrepreneur videos is how to find vendors most vendors that people have are based in china that's where literally everything comes from literally in america so a lot of vendors are in china they're based in china now with this whole epidemic going on it's very hard to get stuff on time from china and vendors are like it's crazy right now there are usa based vendors so like for instance mocha p beauty she's a, a vendor for lip glosses and i believe lashes and stuff like that and she does her thing you feel me she is a, a usa based vendor and she, i believe that's what i think they call it like a third party vendor basically um she gets her stuff from her vendor they send it to her and she sends it to you so that's basically how that whole thing works if you want to find a vendor i'm going to tell you to go on alibaba 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 who's whoever whatever her sis name is you want to go on there and you can find so many different vendors whatever you want to sell if you want to sell clothes if you want to sell lip gloss lashes if you want to sell books shoes purses accessories whatever you want to sell alibaba has it all you have to do is search it go search it and literally just that's how you find your vendor a lot of y'all don't understand the whole process of getting in contact with your vendor a lot of vendors they go through whatsapp and you have to basically text them through their whatsapp because they're based in china that's how i communicate with my vendors um i do it from whatsapp but you also can communicate if you find a vendor from alibaba you can communicate with them on there but sometimes they'll refer you to go to whatsapp because it's better for them to send you pictures and videos um also if you want to find a vendor instagram i found my vendor on instagram my last vendor I found her on Instagram. All you have to do is go in the search engine and type in lash vendors, 25 millimeter lashes and stuff like that. And you really need to search. And my biggest, biggest, biggest advice to y'all, do not go with the very first vendor you get a hold of. A lot of people jump the gun and they wanna get their they product, their inventory quick. So they go to whoever and they purchase from whoever and it's like no that's not how you want to go about it at all you want to make sure this vendor is legit you want to make sure this vendor has good quality um products you want to make sure this vendor is just all in all just good because you don't want to purchase from somebody and their products is not even all that so my biggest advice is get sample sizes say i found three vendors that i've you know i like and i'm interested in i would hit them up and i would say hey i am the ceo ceo of whatever my company is and i was interested in your products i was wondering how much you know is your you know of each of your product is what is the minimum requirements to buy um and if i could could i get a sample you know a sample order or whatever they would go from there so it's literally when you talk to these vendors, you gotta talk to them serious because some of them be thinking that you just you just playing and you just not serious. You gotta let these vendors know that you're serious about your business. That way, in the future, when you do pick that vendor, if you need something, they're on it because they know that you're not playing about your business. So yeah, make sure your product is legit, y'all. Do not jump the gun trying to get your inventory quick and you don't even like it. So yeah, sample sizes is key. 
ask them how much and stuff like that just so you get an idea of how much you gotta spend and you know what's in your budget okay and always let them know your budget because sometimes they will overprice you and they will try to get over on you and they know how to work with you so don't feel like the first price they say is just your only option always try to get the lowest you can go because they know what they be doing okay y'all they are going to give you the highest price that they have and you can work with them and if you feel like it's too high be like um i don't know that's like out of my budget they'll probably ask you what's your budget and they'll work with you from there so a lot of people ask me about buying a vendor and buying a vendor list sis um i don't know i feel like it's cool but i never personally bought a vendor so i really don't understand the whole concept i know you're supposed to buy it like buy it off a website and they send you like a vendor list or of different vendors personally i feel like that's a waste of money i mean it is kind of like a um you know a push but it's really just i don't know i feel like i'd rather just personally go search on my own i feel more like i'm doing it the right way rather than just being given a vendor list that probably ten thousand other people 20,000 other people done got the same list as me and I want my stuff to be different you feel me so I feel like when you are searching on your own it's better because it's like not everybody probably has that vendor so buying vendors like I said I don't really know too much about it but I mean if you want to buy a vendor I know there's a few websites that do like vendor lists and you can buy it and stuff like that I'm not gonna go into detail about it because I really don't know too much about it okay so bam let's say you just start your business you got your inventory you got your plan all together you got everything set up and you got you know everything just done right what you need to realize is promotion is going to get you sales if you're not promoting yourself you're not going to succeed in your business nobody gonna know about somebody that don't promote themselves. Uh, you know if i don't know that you have a business how i'm gonna buy from you you feel me you need to promote your business if you're not promoting yourself ain't nobody gonna know about you sis so my biggest thing is instagram instagram is the biggest best most efficient thing you can do when you have a business because it's literally a big audience on instagram so when you make yourself an instagram for your business when you post any picture any video of your actual product use hashtags i believe the limit is like 30 hashtags girl sus you better use every single last hashtag you can use okay use them all whatever like if i'm selling lashes i would say 25 milliliter lashes 3d meek lashes um lash wholesale lash you know lash cases just any type of thing that relates to lashes you also want to do hashtags that aren't really big and popular because you have more of a chance of people seeing your post. So use hashtags that are not very common, um, but also relates to your actual, what you're posting. You trusted enough, hashtags is going to get you business from all over the place. I have got so many different biz, uh, sales from different parts of the country, even outside of the country with hashtags because it targets so many different people around the world. And when I say promote, I want you to promote every single day. Don't skip a day. Whether you make a post on your Instagram feed, rather you make a story post where you know you're posting videos on your story, whether you're um, on your Facebook, on your Twitter, showing your stuff off, whether you're whatever it may be just promote every single day you don't got to promote every hour or whatever the case may be but promote every single day because every single day is a chance of getting another sale when you promote every single day you get people a bigger audience looking at you and your you know your business so promote every single day because promotion is key okay you cannot be successful without promotion when you do promote you want to make sure it's good advertisement have good lighting, have good little uh, edits, um, good filters. You just want it to make sense and make it look cute and good lighting. All that stuff plays in part of good advertisement. If you're showing a product, okay, say I'm showing off this controller, okay, and the lighting is bad. Say it's in a dark lighting, you can't really see it, and it's just not hitting right. 
nobody gonna wanna buy this controller, sis, unless you really promote and advertise it the right way. And okay, if the picture ain't hitting girl, ain't nobody gonna buy that, okay? You can sell whatever you want as long as that picture hitting. If the picture ain't hitting, they gonna say, uh-uh, no ma'am. Next, okay, so another thing, when you start off, you're obviously not gonna have a lot of followers on Instagram. You want to do like paid promos. So a lot of people, when you do those big hashtags, a lot of people hit you up just randomly. They hit you up and they'll say, um, oh, I can do promos for you. I can feature you on my page, on my story for this much. I don't do promos no more over than $10. If you charge more than $10, sis, I'm sorry. I'm not paying you for no promo when I can promote myself on my YouTube, you feel me? So I have done, I believe, three promos before. I have done three promos. And my biggest promo um, I did was with Nia K. And I'll insert some pictures. She promoted me and I was like, oh, okay. Um, I pay her to do my promo. I'm not gonna tell you how much uh, she charged me because sis actually gave me a deal, okay, period. But um, she did a story promo and that also brought on getting some of my followers. Um, but she has over one point, over 1 million subscribers. I think it's 1.5 million subscribe, not subscribers, followers. So she really brought an audience to my page. Oh, and it's usually accounts that have a high followers. If they have, okay, this is, this is some of them be scamming, okay, y'all? Some of them be having like 30,000 followers. And if you look at their likes and their likes ain't matching up their followers, kiss that, kiss that promo goodbye because you're not finna gain anything because a lot of the people that be trying to do that be scamming and they be paying for their followers and they, they be trying to do like the promos and make you seem like they helping you with your business. They really not because their followers are fake and their whole gimmick is a scam. So just pay attention to how many likes they get, how many views they get on their videos, stories, ask for all that. Be like, I wanna see how much, how many views you get on your story. So I know I'm actually, you know, getting a good promo deal. You feel me? Now we get into the juicy, juicy part, the part that everybody been waiting for, the part that I couldn't wait to talk about. Now we get to talk about what the things you need to start a lip gloss business. This is just from what my experience and I'm also going to list like, put on a screen where you can get it from and the prices of everything and all that good stuff. And yeah, so let's get into it. So basically, the first thing you obviously is going to need is squeeze tubes or wine tubes. You can get squeeze tubes and wine tubes from off Amazon. You can get a lot of squeeze tubes off Amazon for cheap. Um, you can get your wine tools from TKB Trading. That is a big company that a lot of people use. However, a lot of people been ditching TKB Trading if y'all been watching these YouTube videos, chat, because a lot of them, they stuff just been, they just been procrastinated with a lot of their um, products of selling and stuff like that. So, I mean, they still a good company, don't get me wrong, but a lot of people don't found other companies because Way back then, TKB Trading was the only company you knew about that actually sold Versagel and um, Mika Powder, all that stuff. But now that people are discovering different companies, they're like, buy TKB Trading. Next you're gonna need is Versagel. When you are making lip gloss, the whole entire base is Versagel. Um, you can actually, I would still think it's on Amazon, but you can get Versagel from Amazon and it's ran through TKB Trading. Um, or you can get the 30 pound, which is like $500, $600. We ain't there yet, okay? So we gonna stick with that 3.5 pound bag. Next, you're going to need Mika Powder. And Mika Powder is basically the powder, the pigments and stuff that you put in your lip gloss to make it a certain color. And you also can get that on TKB Trading. And let me tell you this. Do not trust every single Mika powder that's on TKB Trading. And I like TKB Trading simply because it tells you if it's safe for your lips, what it's safe for. It will show you if you click on it, if you scroll to the, um, to the next picture, it will tell you if it's good for your lips or not. And it'll tell you if it's good for your lips in the USA and I believe the UK or something like that. But always look at the USA. If you're born in the USA and you live in the USA, you wanna look at the USA and then you wanna see if it's good for your lips or not. Next thing you're gonna need is pipettes. You can get like a whole bunch of pipettes for a good price. Um, also on Amazon, and basically it's when, those are the pipettes where you can also put like oils inside the um, gloss. And you also can um, cut off, you know, the little bulb part and put it on a syringe. 
tape it and be able to put it inside the wand tubes and your squeeze tubes. Speaking of syringes, that's the next thing you're going to need syringes. The syringes I use are the 60 milliliter syringes from Amazon. I think I com it comes with like a 10 or 12 pack. And they're the real big ones. Do not get the small ones. You're gonna be you're gonna be stressed trying to put something in a small um, some Versagel in a small little syringe. Next thing you're gonna need is oils. So this is completely up to you. It all depends. Um, I'm not gonna tell you everything I use in my lip gloss. I use the bare minimum because I feel like you know the more you put in, the more chances a person can have allergic reactions because they may be allergic to those oils. But your oils, you wanna do your research. They have grapeseed oil, they have vitamin E oil, they have coconut oil. They have so many different oils that you can use. You just wanna do your research and that's where you come in as an entrepreneur and do your research on what's a good product or not. You're gonna also need flavoring. Um, I mean, it's up to you if you don't want flavoring in your stuff. I like to flavor it. I have vanilla flavoring, flavoring, strawberry flavoring. You can get flavoring literally everywhere. You can get it from Amazon or you can also get it on TKB Trading. It's real cheap on TKB Trading. I only pay like $1.80 for mine. Okay, so bubble mailers. A lot of people ask me which, uh, what size bubble mailers I use. I will put it on the screen because I really don't know about off back. But I think it's like four by six or six by four. Six. I don't know, it's something y'all. So I, I'll put it on a screen of what I use, but I use different sizes for different things. It all depends what I'm packing. Um, but if you're just selling lip gloss, I'm gonna put the dimensions and what I use for my bubble mailers. If I'm shipping, this is if you're shipping y'all. Also shipping, you're gonna need shipping labels. Now, a lot. Of, I got a question, somebody asked me, do you have to get shipping labels? No, you can print it off on regular paper and you can just tape it on your package. Simple as that, you good to go, okay? You don't have to buy the shipper labels. It just saves you a lot of time because all you got to do is pull it off, stick it on, and you done. Um, I get my shipping labels from Amazon as well. Next thing, if you're going to be selling off a website, you're going to also need a printer. My printer was on sale for $50. Somebody asked the question like, how was that only $50? I can't, you know, it's way more on Amazon. I got it on sale because when I searched back, girl, this printer was a hundred and something dollars. Um, the next thing you're gonna need is a scale. You gotta weigh your packages. You gotta know how much they weigh. So you're gonna need a scale, a kitchen scale that weighs in ounces and all stuff like that. Um, also from Amazon. A lot of this stuff, a lot of this stuff I'm telling y'all is literally from Amazon. But yeah, y'all, that's pretty much it. Like that's literally all I, all you really need to really start a lip gloss business. Um, this is just part one because I can talk about a lot of stuff y'all So if y'all want me to go in details of any other topics or anything else Please comment down questions below because I would be happy to answer them and I'll make a part two if I have to I Wish all y'all the best because we finna make this show money sis and that's on period because we gonna be boss bitches All 2020 and who gonna stop us nobody period I wish all y'all the best and yeah I hope y'all enjoyed this video and I'll see y'all when I see y'all